protests turn violent in Minneapolis overnight after the death of a man in police custody. One person was killed in what police are investigating as a homicide. Other violence, including looting and massive fires that were visible from outside the city. The protest began outside the police precinct in the part of the city where 46-year-old George Floyd died on Memorial Day. Four Minneapolis police officers were fired after video footage showed one of them kneeling on Floyd's neck until he became unresponsive. Last night, news helicopter footage showed several sto nearby stores being looted. Footage shows an auto zone just blocks from the station on fire. In an update overnight, police said yesterday's protesting was much different than Tuesday's largely peaceful protests. The night before, we started out with about 8,000 protesters at 38th and Chicago. And they were great. They were chanting for things to remain peaceful. Tonight didn't have that same feel, and that's sad. That video shows Floyd pleading with police officers while one of the officers again presses his knee into Floyd's neck. Initially, police said Floyd physically resisted officers after they responded to a reported forgery in progress. But new video appears to show the moments before Floyd's death. Officers removed him from a parked car and handcuffed him before they let him across the street. The mayor wants charges against the arresting officer. Attorneys representing the officers have not commented.